<laughs> How's everybody doing? <laughs> okay. Uh, I hope everybody had a great Christmas. I hope every ha- I hope everybody ate, drank. You know, I'm still you know a little drinking. Oh, you know, it, it's nothing. It's just a little. You know, I'm proud of myself. I didn't really drink that much. Oh yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. But you know what? I ate and took my vitamins. You know. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, I ate plenty, you know, of carbs and stuff, and, you know. So, um, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I say that enough, I can convince myself. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. <laughs> well, today we have another uh, a great video for you. And the um, today we're going to talk about Leo and cancer <laughs> cardinal water with fixed fire Ooh. <laughs> yeah. i don't even know how to begin it took me uh like maybe like two days to put this um oh, oh yes i know it took me about two days to put this together because even though as an astrologer and having done this almost half a century i have to tell you that um you still have to put things in a way that it makes sense when it comes to language. You know what I'm saying? That's important. So um, we're going to jump right in and we're going to talk about um, cancer and Leo. Cardinal water with a fixed fire, the sun. Again, if we make reference to Mother Nature, we can say that Leo represents the sun, the solar system, you know, uh, the, the, the sun that illuminates our solar system. Uh, but cancer, cancer, cancer rules the primordial waters, the ethers of space, and God moved upon the face of the waters. God moved and looked to the depth of the deep, of the deep, of the depth, and look at the faces of the waters. That's in Genesis. I, I, I kind of corrupted the, the verse. It doesn't quite go that way. But the, 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 the Bible always talks about these, this water. And this water is real, but it's not the water here on earth. As above, so below. The water that it's making reference to is the ethers of space. See, water does exist in space, but not in its molecular formula like it does exist on the earth. Remember, this is the world of material matter. So the chemical composition of material matter, which is familiar to us, for those, for those of us who have taken chemistry, high school chemistry, you know, we're taught about the periodic table and the different elements that exist. What is it, 108 elements, you know, that the periodic table is composed of? You know, all those chemistries are, is what composes our known world. But there are many periodic tables and chemistry tables that symbolize many chemistries that are foreign to us and not familiar to our own uh, nomenclature, okay, when we're dealing with, with chemistry, science, and physics. So the primordial waters of space is what we call the ethers, the primordial ethers where everything sprung forth, including our, our own primordial existence. Now, these are Kabbalistic mysteries, right? Occult mysteries, only available to the most highest of initiates. Understand that cancer represents that principle. So in cancer representing that principle, you can understand that the sun, which belongs to the primordial realms of space, along with the planets and everything else, also is in itself cosmic. You know, you've seen my Leo videos. I can't tell you enough about the Leo and the cosmic and how I connect it to. But understand that the, that the sun emanated from somewhere. The sun just didn't sprung out to be. It 
came from somewhere, just like all the other planets and our Earth came from somewhere. And this is the primordial ethers of space, the womb. Cancer represents the womb in which everything springs forth from, including the sun. So now, this is scientific, okay? So then let me ask you, who's the boss? <laughs> who's the boss? Who's the boss? Well, obviously, since I've made the uh, correlation with Mother Nature, including space, because it's all part of Gaia, then we're talking about cancer. Cancer is the boss. Cardinal water. Now, as you already know, the pattern that I have with my videos, you should know by now that I have to ascribe these cosmic principles to the behavior and personality of man, particularly the cancer man and the Leo woman. Well, first, let me say one thing. The Leo woman, she's prideful. She's regal. She's beautiful. She is everything that any man can ever want in a woman. She is a trophy to carry in your arm. If you are a piece of shit nobody, and you happen to, because of the grace of God, or maybe because of the pity of the gods, they put you with a little woman, you have just been upgraded. Upgraded! Even though Cancer, because it's a cardinal sign, would be the boss. Society will already would have already made up its mind that the one that is the most valuable, regardless if he's the boss or not, is the woman. And the Leo woman. Because let me tell you, just the mere presence of being with a Leo woman, you're already getting lux. The doors are opening for you. Whether you appreciate it or not, whether you like it or not, whether you realize it or not. Just that's just the fact that you are in the in her presence. Shit's happening for you. And you got bitches lined up trying to take you to bed to see what's going on that warranted the attention of a Leo woman. Like a Scorpio woman. <clears throat> Cause these women look at your look look your way. That you as a man I a fine piece of ass if these women look at you in that way. I'm serious. So understand that even though cancer is the boss, the one that really will make that man successful in whatever he does, in whatever he's in is the fact that he has a woman that with the power of her very own being can make shit happen for you. And that can upstage the cancer man. The cancer man might become threatened by that and act vindictively, become a bitch, because you know, he's already going through his moods, Mr. Cancer. So being extra bitchy ain't gonna phase him, especially if he feels overshadowed. And that can very easily happen with having a, can a, a Leo woman. So what do you do? In a situation where you have a woman who maybe people might say, why that motherfucker with her? He don't deserve her. What the fuck is he about? Well, listen, cancer ain't cardinal for nothing. And we all have our shortcomings and liabilities, including Miss Leo. 
who can be a little bit too much to deal with and, and bear. And even then, with all that that you do for her, you might risk the chance that she'll still leave you flat and go with, with the next person and whatever it is that she's looking for. Because she's always looking for something in someone. No, it's not all about money and access with her. It always has to be about feeling a certain way and how she's being um, uh, treated. With with her, you know, with the cancer, with the uh, Leo woman, she's still very, very much at that ego level. You know, it's funny. I have yet to meet. I have yet to meet a Leo woman that functions on a cosmic spiritual scale and where she looks towards others in sacrifice of herself, including her self-image. I'm 50 years old and I have yet to meet any woman that have transcended that. This represents and this explains the power of the personality and the ego. You know, Leo rules the ego and the personality of every sign of the zodiac. It is the lowest nature of God. It is the part of God that is oblivious to God's own existence and everything being spiritual. It is complete focus on the material realm and the enjoyment and conquest of it. Leo is not really concerned with the spiritual in that way. The concern for Leo spiritually comes from a much more egocentric place than from a more universal brotherhood cosmic place. But because the opposite sign of Leo is Aquarius, she will eventually get there. I ain't worried about Miss Leo. She will eventually get there. The problem becomes the trail of destruction and disappointments that are left in her track that she will blame the, bro the men of having caused instead of her looking at the role that she played in causing those trails of destruction. You know, go, if we go negative, if we go positive, then ideally there should not be a problem. But here we go again. The dichotomy is very different when you're dealing with a cancer man and a Leo woman, or a Leo man with a cancer woman. So when we're dealing with, let's say, a Leo man and a cancer woman, the cancer woman will probably feel disenfranchised because her being a cardinal sign, she requires movement. She requires activity, action, engagement. The Leo man is the Lion King that sits on the mount overlooking the valley, looking at the pride. He doesn't do much, but just sit there and protect from afar. While the female of the species of lion is the one that runs the activities of the pride. If you know anything about zoology and how lions operate and work, if you look at National Geographic, just Google it. There are tons of videos on it. And you sh and they show you the study of the lions and in, in their in their habitat, and you'd be so you'd be fucking surprised how similar it is to human behavior, which is why I always ascribe nature to personalities. Remember, it's called the zodiac. The zodiac is Latin. It means zoo. It means animals. And most of the signs of the zodiac are animals, for the exception of two signs, which is Virgo, the Virgin, and Aquarius, the water bearer and one inanimate object, which is the scales, which represents Libra. But the rest of the symbols in the zodiac are animals. That's not by accident, that's for a reason. It means that all of us have an animal nature to us that we need to conquer in order to walk the path of becoming human beings and then later becoming gods. 
So astrologers' responsibility is to educate human beings and elevate the humanity, mankind, from his animal state to its more cosmic level of expression. So like that one day as a species, we can become God and go back to God. That's our job as astrologers, is to teach the human condition to go up the spiral of evolution so that we can break out of this material matter, this enslavement which in which we were placed in by Jehovah, the God who has been entrusted in our evolution through pain and suffering. There's no such thing as the devil. That was, that's the biggest hoax of Christianity and religion. The devil is Jehovah, and Jehovah is the devil. And it tells you in the Bible, in the Quran, in the Zola of the Jewish um, sacred text, the Talmud, the Upanishads of uh, India, it's all Jehovah, the one that carries the whip that we all fall under. So understand that these are very powerful, 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 powerful cosmic principles that are held and inherent in cancer. So just like that female lion runs all of the daily activities of the pride and does the hunting and the killing, while the lion man just sits there looking pretty, is the psychological attitude of the Leo with a cancer person. So then, how do we translate that into human personality and behavior more specifically? Well, you do it because the interactive behavior. So, to me, I would believe that gem that a cancer would be more engaging more nagging, more um, probing the cancer woman with the Leo man. The dynamic is different if it's the other way around. So the cancer woman will require, will demand the attention of the Leo, of the Leo man. The Leo man will do as naturally he does two things. He will ignore the Leo woman and go about his own, I mean, he will ignore the cancer woman, him being the little man, will ignore the woman and do whatever he wants to do. Or he will put on an act like he is with her in sync, especially when it concerns domestic concerns, because, you know, that's really the realm of Miss Cancer, you know. And the, the Leo man kind of likes being at home. He's a homebody. And the home has to be comfortable and nice. And, you know, that worked very well with him. And the cancer woman will be more than willing and eager to please him and create that sanctuary. If anyone can create a sanctuary for the Leo man as a boyfriend or as a husband towards a cancer woman, it will be the cancer woman because the cancer woman rules the home and the family and domesticity and she will make him feel like a king. He will have a heart on 24-7. A heart on 24-7 because she will totally worship him and worship his dick if that's what it requires. And Leo man will love it. Love it. The problem is in the reciprocity. Will the Leo man give back to the woman in that same capacity that she is completely giving of herself to him? The answer usually is no. Understand that Leo is the sign of the narcissist. And he may not necessarily be a narcissist, but that doesn't mean that he won't engage in narcissistic behavior, which is totally different. <clears throat> the Leo man tends to be very selfish and will tend to act very entitled to being treated like, and pampered like a king. The cancer woman will do it because she loves her man and it turns her on sexually to see her man happy and satisfied. Because that means that as a woman, as a wife, she's doing what she's supposed to do what's expected of her to do. 
But the cancer woman is more. The cancer woman, excuse me, I'm sorry. The cancer woman does not have, um, how can I put it? Um, the cancer woman, yeah, she will kind of sacrifice. She will kind of sacrifice her desires, her needs, even as a woman. Not that she needs to worry in that department. The little man will more than deliver the goods in that department. Because we know that Miss Cancer is a freak in the bedroom. And the little man with his, his insatiable uh, erectile appetite, you know, towards being pleased and Cancer being onanistic, trust me. She will have no problem being satisfied by this man. And he will have no problem being satisfied by this woman. Sexually, very compatible, very simpatico. The problem is that the problem is in the emotional exposition. What I mean when I say emotional exposition is the emotional uh, give and take aspect of that relationship with a cancer and a Leo, a, a cancer woman and a Leo man. She wants completion emotionally from him. She remember the moon doesn't give off its own light. It only reflects the light from the sun. So if we translate that psychologically, we can say that the cancer woman's sense of self and self-esteem and self-worth as far as being a woman, a mother, and a partner, really is contingent upon the approval that she's getting with her from her husband or her partner. Him being the sun and the moon reflecting that sun. So if he's not reflecting that positive energy by letting her know how great she is, because the cancer woman needs a lot of reinforcement. If he does not do that, he can become part of the problem of her emotional self-esteem, self-worth deterioration, especially if the Leo men ignores her. And the and Leo men tend to ignore their women. Now, it's not something that's deliberate, it's because they're the king and, you know, if he's involved in other things that he may perceive as kingly matters, you know, he has an entourage and he likes his friendships with fellow men, you know, and women in his mind fit a definitive role. Having said that, that doesn't mean that he's not lacking in love or lacking in feeling. With, with, I uh, remember he's fixed fire. So these are roles to be expected. They are roles to be played. The Leo man requires that the woman plays her role. But the cancer woman also requires that the Leo man plays his role. And usually he does. You know, it really depends on the level of evolution that the Leo man is in. Remember, he comes in several types. And even though it's not Virgo, which is the last sign from Aries to Virgo of personal development before we go into Libra to Pisces, which is the development of others in conjunction to a harmony relationship with ourselves once we are fully developed, really is something that uh, is kind of foreign to the Leo man. The Leo man, even the most evolved of Leo men, even spiritually or cosmically, uh, don't do very well in their interpersonal relationships because there is still a level of uh, immaturity and, and a level of um, infantilism that exists within the Leo man. And... Even though the, the 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 cancer woman will be tolerant of that behavior, because it is who he is, she being the cardinal sign will require a reciprocity from the Leo man, and when this doesn't happen, is when the problems begin. The dynamic is different when we're dealing with a Leo woman and a Cancer man. 
But we're done with this segment. <laughs> 